I just don't want to see like that like question glimmering in someone's eyes. I'm like, oh, I'm a model, and they're like, uh, where? You know, so I'm just like, oh, I'm a plus size model. I'm like, oh yeah, of course, the face. Ah. <laughs> My name is Paloma Alcesser, and I'm a plus size model. Let's try it again. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? My dad is Chilean and Swiss, and my mom is like a black Buddhist intellectual kind of vibe. <laughs> so I grew up to simply say without boundaries. <laughs> a lot of freedoms, not a lot of judgments and whatever even though we didn't have money. My mom, she made it a point that like I got the best education. It was hard for me. I felt super isolated and out of place because my reality, one, wasn't that I had money or looked like the, my peers. I felt inherently like alone and just not right there. So I felt that like going to New York was the best idea. I feel like it's where I grew up. It's where I was actually able to find my independence. We're at Lambeth Academy, and we're gonna talk to some 16-year-old girls and see what's going on with them and what's it like to be a girl today. It used to be, even for me, like, that skinny was the way, and now it's like, big butt, flat stomach, yeah. with the uh, Kit Kardashian yeah. effect, you know? It could cause, like, insecurities, like, the most important thing for us is GCSEs, but some people be thinking about makeup and how they their look like, and especially yeah. boys. What are some qualities that really like inspire you about women and what's changing today? You're very confident in who you are. It makes me feel like, oh, like, <laughs> I could do it as well. Like being thick or whatever, or even skinny, doesn't mean that you're ugly. Still sometimes I'm like, oh, my legs and da da da. But it actually like, I have enough foresight to see like my worth, my value, what it means, how important it is to have a voice, how important it is to have friends that support me. We're all much more similar than we think. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I think it's important for women and girls to see someone that they feel connected to. My big break moment was working with Pat McGrath. I was unsure where I wanted to, what I wanted to do and where I was going in my career. Still grappling with like what it meant for me to be a plus size model. You always need perspective. We're gonna go meet Madeline, one of my best friends, and crew dem, <laughs> International Girl Crew. I'm part of this crew. It's called International Girl Crew. It's comprised of amazing women all over the world. Generally, it's about going to cultural places and merging our own cultures. All being women, supporting each other. <laughs> Hello, Kate. Hi. Okay, we're at Brixton Village. It smells amazing. It does, it smells like a garlicky dream. Where have we been together? We've been to like LA a bunch of times and Jamaica. Jamaica. Obviously, none of us live in the same city, so the way we hung out was by seeing each other in other places. What's something you've learned on one of the trips? It's like I pick people's brains that I'm with and then like also wherever we are um, sort of keeps me inspired. I think that generally like if any of you if any girls ask me like how do you stay motivated and it's really not about me it's about who I surround myself with. It goes back to you know early human you need communities but it's you true yeah. you need communities. I generally like to surround myself with people that are motivated and like want something while, while they're here, you know? Any girl who's being honest or authentic or vulnerable, like they are role models to me as well. I used to work in a McDonald's. I had no money, but you know, I was introduced to the thrift store. If you have no money, but you know how to put an outfit together.